So this isn't the uh, the Pac-Man game I thought it was gonna be. Oh really? Yeah, no clue. Never played this. Never even heard of it then. And I still don't know what the other one was that I, you know, played a long time ago. There's probably gonna be lots of those where it's like, ah, I remember beating this game back in the day. Because mm -hmm. you you forget. Never mind. I just completely forgot. I remember thinking it was weird back then, too. It is... Oh, yeah. There's a swingy button, isn't there? What is it? There it is. switch between what I have to use. I don't know how to open those yet. so I can breathe underwater, right? Hell yeah. And I can shoot underwater, too. Shit's dope. Let's see if I can get in here and keep it lit up. Now I got a fucking badass hammer. I just pound on the buttons. I don't actually have a strategy for swinging this thing. Oh, you have to collect all the uh, bits for each level. Okay. That makes sense. It's Pac-Man, right? You gotta collect all those little munchy things in every level. Mm -hmm. That's what Pac-Man does. Eats little yellow balls. So they did a pretty good job, like, you know, reinventing the character in a sense, I guess. He's still eating balls, but just a little different kind of ball. Thank you. 
It's like, what's going on? It wouldn't, it wouldn't go in the door. I hit up. It was the first thing I tried. But it was still up. I guess I... I just tap. I gently caressed it. I caressed the up button. This would be a really good game to speedrun. It seems like it's one of those things where it's really really precise on the jumps, but it's not going to punish you, but it's really easy to go slow in this game. Because you have to collect all these things in order to move on. So, optimizing it to get everything would be quite the challenge. You gotta check every little nook and cranny, because the last thing you want to do is go go through the level, only to find out you missed one little ball. I don't know what that enemy is. I didn't kill it when I hit it. I thought it was going to go up and drown me down there, but it didn't. I'm lucky. I think it just, I lowered it, and now it's down permanently. Come on. I guess I'm going this way. Yeah. He just, I don't like the way he looks when he's swinging. I really don't like the way he looks. I hope it's not just me. It's not cool. <laughs> I played this one. I have never beaten it though. So I had I have some knowledge of the mechanics. It was just a remember them. But I didn't get very far, so. This boulder down here. This boulder. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I beat the first world of this game, and that's it. And I don't know how much more of the game there is. So, no way to tell. But munch and get your health back, so I think this game's gonna be really easy. It's just gonna be... How long does it take? 
how long does it take? I think it uh, has a pretty cool mechanic. I'm not really sure. I think it, um, there's ghosts in every level, and you can only kill them by eating them. I think, uh, I think Namco's got a lawsuit on their hands right here. What? I think they do. Hey, you gotta apply yourself. that can go wherever they want to go in this game. You come in the door and you go out the door and you're somewhere else. And random um, walls that look like every other wall that I'm going to have to break to get food. It's kind of like a, a better Bionic Commando. down to this. Nice easy cruise. After all the hard games of yesteryear. What it is, this is this freaking relaxing. Like I can just look away. It doesn't even matter if I get hit in this game. It's wonderful. Like, every little thing you get gives you health. Plus, if you beat a game really quick, you can probably get two in a day. I plan on it. I know a couple, like I said, I know a couple of ones that I could beat in one day, like Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2, Donkey Kong Country 3, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, the, the collection I can beat in one day, because I actually can beat, um, well, I, I shouldn't say it. I, I have beaten the Lost Worlds, and I've beaten the whole collection. But that one always gave me trouble. But actually, now that I think about it, I always hated when I was growing up the last world of Super Mario Brothers 3. I was always bad at it. And I disliked it. Speaking of, like... Yesterday when I was talking about weird, like, uh, because of Super Smash TV being so, like, brutal and all bloody and blowing people's heads up and just killing people over and over again, mm -hmm. and the whole Mortal Kombat thing, getting the, uh, ESRB thing, the rating system made, mm -hmm. uh, having part in it, I should say, um, oh, damn, I can't jump off that. uh, but that game had like weird, like the last world was all like weird hellish. It was strange, now that I think about it. I thought it was strange back then too. Like how it was just all red and it looked like you were in hell. I'm not kidding, it was... Yeah, it was cool. But I'm amazed that 
didn't get. I guess I was on NES, so it was before they rated games, but still. Oh, that's not my exit door. Where the hell did I see my exit door at? Was it down here? Yeah. Did I get the key? Hell yeah, I did. This game actually has a fast mode or a slow mode. I guess so. Uh, I won't make the joke. This game would be easy as hell. This ram's giving me a hard time though. Oh, you fucked me up. You start this level with the hammer, and I, I chose to go down right off the bat, which I feel like wasn't the wisest of moves. That's what's really cool too. Each level starts you off with a different one of different or no, you know, amount of power-ups. And you gotta just make do with what you started with. So now I got my rope. What's that mean? searching for. Come on, Hadouken! <laughs> okay, now it's time to find the water. I can burn the bridge. He's a bouncy son of a bitch. Oh god, I jumped right through and lost the uh... It po oh, that's, that's probably useful. There's probably a... Uh, there's probably quite a glitch to be found with the fact that you can freeze in midair with the hammer. Probably some clipping or something to be found. I'm not going to be the one to look for it. I don't really care. I just know that by the way he freezes in midair like that, you could probably learn to do zip by utilizing that to clip into like a wall and, you know, how the normal zips go. If I find it by accident, I'll be sure to see if anybody else has figured it out. If not, Post it up somewhere. For all those Pac Man speedrunners. For when they gotta go pack in time. Ah, were they Puros? Yeah, it was Puro King that was in League of Legends. That's what those things remind me of. The only thing I liked about that game. 
all random death matches. Come on, come on. You actually can't jump in the water with Pac-Man, as you can see. I am. You can't jump out of the water, so you'll see me just sit here in the water, and like every other game, I'm sitting here tapping B, trying to get out of the water, and he just doesn't go anywhere. Oh god. I'm probably gonna have to swing all the way across. Oh, and there's safe still. Awesome. At least he can swing real low. Oh, no, never mind. I take it back. Yeah, this game, um, I, I, I can already tell that I would have loved this game as a kid. And I wonder why I didn't finish it, because I know I played this. Why does that take away my... In case I got up there without getting the rope somehow? I don't see how you could get up to the fireball without the rope. I want to know where my, my water power is. I need to get that so that I can kill those those crustaceans. <laughs> Whee. Ah, I was here the whole time. I forgot because this Poro scared me. Let's do it. Yeah, this this game, like, look at that. It has a beautiful flow to it if you were actually good. It does. It's it is absolutely like animations. Pretty crisp. It's silly looking, but who am I to judge? It's it runs fantastically. I feel like, oh, this has a password system? Hmm. <laughs> Let's hope I don't run into like a level that is absolutely ball-busting hard. What are these? Pickles. Password keeper? Password keeper? What's the password? Um, banana nut bread. Banana nut bread. Yeah, banana nut bread. my password. Oh, look at me go. I'm just hopping up this. Um, fuck it. It clearly wants me to do this without having the rope. So, I ain't got time for that. I'll damage boost through it. platform and I'm just gonna bounce. Is this thing figure eating? <laughs> they just took the most generic I don't know. Something about uh, a platform just figure eating bothers me. Put some, put some effort into that platform, you know? Make it go side to side, just the right amount of space to where if you jump at the wrong time, you're dead, and it's just gonna slowly careen towards you, and you're like, if I would've just jumped one second later. I wanna feel bad when I miss a jump. That is... Well, I mean, this is like, look at these things. They clearly... Just like threw them up here. There's no reason for them. They're just floating logs. It's uh, not bad. I'm just I'm just pointing out that they just threw logs in the air and we're like, here's the top of this map. the The confusing part was if you see the sun in the top right corner on the first level, it was it was like right next to you, so it was really disorienting mm -hmm. seeing like the exact same shade of color. Maybe that was the point. Uh, oh, was it? Like a symbolism? Like that's how Pac-Man used to be? And now look at him! He's in stunning! 32 <laughs> bits! Stunning! 
Okay, I can't get that one. I really didn't feel like coming all the way back up here with the the little uh, hanging mabob. But I guess that's how it's gonna be. Who sings that song? Third Eye Blind. Boom. Everyone loves Third Eye Blind. Right? We're like a national treasure. With less, um, Nicolas Cage, obviously. I wonder how that man's doing, now that I think about it. I haven't seen any Nicolas Cage in a while. And I mean, we're pretty up on our movies. Mm -hmm. Like, the only, what's, the only new movies we really haven't seen are Annabelle, Cars 3, It, and what's the last one? There was another one you wanted to see. Oh, Spider-Man Homecoming. We haven't seen that yet. Yeah. That's the other one. I was one. like, two or mine. Like, look at that. I can actually force myself down with the hammer. Because it stops me in air. That's nifty. Like, look at that shit. It's really good. It's not good for hitting shit. It's absolutely worthless at that. But damn, is it good at carrying you. When you're just probably not going to make a jump. I doubt that's going to be in this game, though. Because it seems like it's a more game geared towards younger children. But look at me bounce back and forth as I look like a dumbass with my smiley little Pac-Man because I can't get out of the hole. <laughs> like, look at me go. It's just, like, creepy enough. <laughs> oh, God. I have to angle it just right so I'm all the way out there. There we go. Hell yeah. Let's go, Mr. Packy. Got that one up, just in case. <laughs> Hey, you never know. This game could get really hard. I could just be like, mm -hmm. ha ha ha, Pac-Man, you're so stupid and easy. You goofball. This is like a baby game. The last time I said it was a baby game, they, they ramped the difficulty up. And people were telling me to blow my brains out on stream because it was so bad, apparently. <laughs> this sucks. To you? No. Um... That, that one girl that was talking about uh, Canada was like, oh man, if I had to play this, I would just blow my brains out. Um. Funny, funnily enough, uh, hysterically, I don't think funnily is a word. Yeah. Funnily. It's my new word. It's when you're stealing gas from a person's car and you'd be like, <laughs> funnily. 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 I'm done and I can get out of here. I thought I was gonna get arrested. Um, I've seen my dad do that before too. Oh, I have to show you this though. Well, this ghost, he's gonna fuck me up. I can't get up there. Go away. I'll just bait him over here. Right? Are you gonna show me uh, Hold on. a video of someone funneling gas? Okay, so is that one of the ghosts you can yeah, kill? you can't kill the ghosts unless you have the the pellets, which is what I thought, which is really cool, because you know that's how it was in the original game. Mm -hmm. That means there's like special conditions for different enemies. They worked it in there. That's a uh, plus one point for you, game. It gets, Yay! it definitely gets plus one, plus one for um, maneuverability. I feel like if you took the time, you could just look like fucking master playing this game. Like, it would look beautiful to see someone speedrun this. And I haven't watched AGDQ this year yet, so I could be... Somebody could have done it already, you know? Mm -hmm. I've seen all of them up until uh, this year, though. It's gotten pretty lame, so I, I skip a lot of the runs now. But... They just don't let people... They don't let people be themselves on AGDQ anymore. And it's ruined, I tell you! I remember back in my day... Yes, 
Grandpa. We're all listening. Yeah, and speed runs. It used to used to be a fun community where people would fuck around and have fun and learn things. And now it's everybody wants on AGDQ, so they get found and they they can't be themselves on it. They have to feel like this is my game. It's Pac-Man. Ah, uh, it's really good. Here comes a trick. Thank you for clapping. Hell yeah, finally got up there. That's what I'm talking about. I worked hard for that. Are they not allowed to or anything? No, they're not supposed to. There's been tons of people who've been like banned from coming. One of my favorites was, uh, I think it was, his name was Bonesaw. And he did a Jack and Dexter run. Uh, a game I've only played the first one of a little bit. Um, I know it was all the rage back in the day. I was more Ratchet and Clanky fan. I played all those. But... Uh, he went on, like, rants about Owen Wilson, which I find I found hilarious because he was just going, you know what I mean? That's what I like in a, a streamer. Is he was just, like... As I said, he was just going off. Yeah, he like ran He it. ran with it, and I thought it was amazing, like, because you'd think, you'd think it would get annoying, and I imagine lots of people probably thought it did, and sometimes it was probably like, ah, that joke didn't really hit the spot, but then, <coughs> then the next one would be right back on, and I was just like, I can't deny it, you know, you can't, all your jokes can't be fire. Uh, yeah, they, they banned him for a year. And he's done it before, like, he's, uh, streamed on there. I can't remember what his other game was that he plays. But, uh, great guy. And he got the shaft from... from that there AGDQ. Not really, I mean, he can stream again, but... What's... Yeah, he only got banned for a year. Yeah, but I'm like, eh, what's... I don't like the... This, this guy I don't think spawned up here. He was like hidden or something. Cause I got this pellet and it went to waste and I was like, that's not good. There's gotta be something around that I'm supposed to use it on. Anyway, so he got banned for a year. And I mean, I just don't agree with it. I thought his run was, it was, it was fine, it was great. It was the best run I, I've seen that whole year. One of the best I've ever seen. The other one I liked uh, was that here. I really like, pretty much now it's only the Terrible Games block is the only one that's fun to watch for me anymore. Because they actually just sit there and make fun of it. Because they know it's terrible. You're just playing a game. Make it fun. Just because you're doing it fast doesn't mean you gotta be like, this is, this is serious. I take my serious time in the bathroom. Not in the games. Ah, come on. Oh, oh my god. That. He just. What? I said, you say that. What? You don't know what I do in I the bathroom. I thought you stressed it when you were playing that. What? Soccer game. The. I, yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> like, you tap over and you were fucking running. There's no, like, build up like in Mario. You don't hold a button to run, you're just running. So, a lot of people probably won't like that, but it's. It's just something you gotta get used to, you know? Not every game can control, like Mario. It's just a sad fact of life. Rude. What? I mean, I don't think it's good. All's, like, all they have to do programming-wise is add an acceleration value of which they feel suits the game, you know? Like, because as they're playing, they can change numerical values and still play the game. You know, I've, I've done this. Um, so I don't know if they felt the game controlled better without acceleration. <laughs> and I'm not about to be the one. It probably screwed up the swinging mechanic. They probably had move speed and swing mechanic the same and added acceleration on the, uh, the swing. And that's why there's no run for the actual character. That's just programmer knowledge speculation of problems I would run into from programming. That I'd just be like, ah, fuck it, no acceleration value. It's not like they're not gonna know. They're never gonna need it. This is a, 
This is just like a an app for you know McDonald's or something. I've never written an app for McDonald's. That'll be my my bullshit programming experience. I wrote an app for McDonald's once. It reminds me of that time in... I think it was the first Jackass movie when Johnny Knoxville is dressed up with an old guy shoving sausages and stuff in his pants. And he's like, I had sex with Lon Chaney. And I have no clue who Lon Chaney is to this day. But the joke is still funny. Because <laughs> it made no sense. It's just <laughs> you old people mentioning people that no one knows anymore. I thought that was the gist of the joke. Could be wrong. Who am I? Who am I to criticize the mastermind, Johnny Knoxville? I'm surprised you didn't look that Oh, because I look everything up. Like, who the fuck is Lon Chaney? Um, I'm glad you asked. He's an actor in the 50s, a male actor in the 50s, so it was also a gay joke. He hit, he hit two birds with one stone. He made his gay character um, also old. Fantastic. Great joke, Johnny Knoxville. Nah, but I love it. It was it was stupid enough that I I give it to him. You know, I would think it I thought it was funny back in the day. I haven't seen those movies since I was a kid. What have, what else have I not done since I was a kid? Yeah. Well, so many games, so little time. Oh, but anyway, I, I got sidetracked here, actually. Um, she was saying that, but then she, she loves running um, Dark Souls. So I was just like, well, that, that game's way harder than this. I didn't, I didn't understand. I guess because it's actually fun, too. Yet another game I didn't beat because I got busy. But I did the same thing with the first one. I I played it and got busy and then went back to it and just started a new character and blew through it and was like, wow, this was really, really easy. Why does everyone think, um, you know, the first first Dark Souls is so hard. I I actually don't think the first one's that hard. I think the second one, second one's a little harder. I think the first one is still the best one, to be honest. And I played Demon Souls too. I have that sitting in the other room. And I watched my friend actually beat that all the way through, so I never played it. So woe is me. I don't feel the need to play it either, because it kind of, it's missing mechanics from the other ones that are a little better. Make the game a little more fun. Kind of like what uh, Oblivion did to Skyrim, you know? Oblivion's got some cool things, but Skyrim just made the game more accessible. Got a lot here. So the ghost positions are pretty good. They keep getting me. Cause I get the uh, I get the pellet and I can't find them. It's like you gotta know where the oh, shit. Where was the exit? Help me out here. Where's that exit? Me? <laughs> Not you. Anyone? Pac-Man. Where's that exit, bro? Like I I could be talking to Mr. Whirlwind over there. I could be talking to the ghost. Here we go. Think it gives me full health at the start of each level? I wasn't paying any attention. So anyway, the other day I bought two sodas so that when you got back from uh, town, you would have a nice ice-cold soda, and then I just left it upstairs and don't know where it is now. So, there's a soda somewhere in the house for you. <laughs> a delicious, delicious soda. 
it's like just for you. It's like hide and go seek, you know? It's like an extra thing. You just did mm -hmm. nothing. There's a soda hidden in the house. You can have it if you desire. If you desire, huh? Ick. To find it. So, it's here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> it's delicious. I won't. I won't tell you what it is, even though you probably know what it is, because you saw my candy. Ice. The green one? Yeah. Oh, you got me one of those. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, it won't be cold either, because I don't know what I did with it. Because you saw, I was so tired yesterday that I left my phone just sitting up there. On the, um, that there. To Indian cigar table. <laughs> I'll refer to it as such. What's the actual name of that wood? Can you remember? Uh, Ginkgo's the Chinese tree we have. Or Japanese tree. Chinese or Japanese? Is, is he Chinese or Japanese? I'm the ocean. Which ocean? I don't remember either. I, it might just be called the Indian Cigar Tree. Those pods are really cool. I'd actually really love to own one of those trees. I'm so sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I think... Where is it? I, I know. I'm... She said, uh... Well, remember she said they had them in the, like, put in the towns? Uh, the ginkgos... The ginkgos they put in to, like, diversify their town and make it fancy. Why do I keep getting them? Um, probably just because they're trees and you're like, I don't give a fuck what the tree's called. It's a tree. <laughs> I just... No, it's just I thought that was what they were called. Honestly. Do you, you don't remember what the other ones were? Mm -mm. I know that what the ginkgo tree is because, you know, I, I clearly have adopted my grandmother's love of Japanese culture. Like, I... I wonder if she's ever been there. Like, she's been everywhere. Apparently. Oh god. Oh god. I gotta get that pellet. One pellet down. Two pellets down. I don't know where the other one oh, there. Alright. We're going for it. Right here. Right here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've looked, they're both just camping on it like little fucks. I can't get to it. I'm, I'll, I'll go up and try and drop down on it. Like, what do you think? What do you think? Right, right about here? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no. I can. Here we go. Gotcha. Ha ha! Fuck you, ghosts. So they do run when you get the uh, the little I can eat ya pellet. Yes. I'm gonna eat ya. I'm gonna eat ya. You went for like super loud, and I went for like creepy. I went for the Austin Powers that I haven't seen in forever, so. I obviously can't nail the, uh, fat bastard. What? What a, um, where the fuck did this guy's career go? Oh, he's on the gong show now, isn't he? I forgot about that. I, uh, I like the gong show. I, I mean, it's pretty much exactly like another one of those like, Japanese game shows that I enjoy so much. One of these days, I'll... I'll put some time into learning it. Uh, more Japanese than I already know. Like, maybe so I could actually say a sentence to someone and not be like, okay, I know what I just said, but I don't know what they're gonna say in reply. Because I don't actually know... I just can make connections, type of thing. Like if you were to, 
like explain water to someone who doesn't know English, you would just like splash water and be like, water. Okay, <laughs> that was a little. That's how they'd have to do it for me, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, I was just oh. gonna say, whoa, buddy. Okay. <laughs> that was really like, yikes. To say about people who need to learn. <laughs> what? No, I'm saying that's how I would have. They would have to be like that to me. They would have to be like, this is water for me to actually learn it. <laughs> Jeez. What is it with you people these days getting all, all bent out of shape? <laughs> what do you mean, you people? You're surprised, no. I have no clue. What is... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I saw that, I was like, oh... Spaceman Craig! How does your journey go? Yes, it's good, Craig. <laughs> we can just, uh... We can voice act the Twilight Zone episodes we're watching. <laughs> I know you can, but you're supposed to voice them. You can play the girls, and then I'll just respond in a way of which I wish to respond, not the Twilight Zone response. That's too hard to do while you're playing. What do you mean? Because you have to know what's happening. I don't need to know what's happening. Why? I just like make it up. <laughs> That's the point. I'm going to just make it up. I can't even get up here. I'm so bad at swinging on these things. There we go. Hit the switch. And hopefully I will find find me some ghost to eat. I ain't the ghost way. Uh oh. This is gonna wear out. Yeah, this game. Pretty dope. I like it. Even if this one gets hard, I'm gonna be like, eh, that was, uh, that was an enjoyable experience, Mr. Pack. <laughs> it's just wasting all my time making me go through all these random other doors. Okay. Ghost one, down. Where's that other ghost at? Over here, right? Oh, there's another one up there. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, he is mighty aggressive. But it's okay. He's down. We good, team. <laughs> Come on, Mr. If you had to give uh, Pac-Man a last name, what would it be? Like, his first name is Pac, obviously. Obviously. So his middle name is Man? Yeah, Pac-Man, like Pac-Man Jones. You know what I mean? Like, what would his... What, what would his, his last name be? Or, wait, hold on. Would his last name be Pac-Man? Because uh, Mrs. Pac-Man, like... Or... Oh, yeah. Or are they packs? What are packs? And she's a man. And he is a man. And she's the Mrs. Man. The Mrs. Man? <laughs> yeah, that's... Come on. Come on, Namco. Let's, let's step it up a notch. And not have this subtle sexism in your game. <laughs> I'm really, really, really upset about this, and I'm going to uh, file an email complaint. Okay, which which direction there they are? So this is like early collectathon game, like Banjo Kazooie. Sorta, of, kinda, but not really, you know. The same concept. 
get all the shit to beat the level. Otherwise, you can't beat the level. This area 10, how long does this go? Because I think it's been playing the same song. I'm not sure. Because I start to zone it out after a while. Oh no! I didn't notice that's not water. That hate that just straight up hits you with a game over. You only have three credits in this. What? I better not die then. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Oh no. It's just oh this is Do you think that drip will hurt me? I don't wanna find out. These are my logs. This is... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you can turn the water into water, so I don't have to continue with this charade. If this actually games me over on Area 10, because it puts, uh, it puts deadly, deadly floors. Oh, I guess I could just be doing this, as I used to. Just hang and then drop down and grab them. Easy game, I figured it out. Some could say. But I knew the whole time that I didn't. Oh, that shot me straight down and almost threw me in the water. Ow. This bird won't do anything. I don't know why birds are attacking me either. I probably should have read a story. See what's going on here. See what's up in Packland. I imagine that's where he lives, Packland. I doubt they put any more thought into it than that. There's a reason why Pac-Man doesn't exist anymore. It's because, you know, they, they just didn't care to innovate the character. They just let him go. He's rotting away in Namco's basement. Maybe uh, they just keep him locked in a jail cell somewhere. One day, he'll break free. Showing up. Oh yeah. I need that shit. <laughs> I didn't think I did. But you don't know. You, know, you don't know what you got until it's gone. If it was ever true, it was with this game and its continue system. I didn't even know my head continues. I didn't even know where my lives were. Oh, this is the exit. Do you know the, uh, the ghosts' names? Yeah. Blinky, 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 Bob. Bob? I, I don't know the names, so... Yeah, that was really good. Impressive. There's, like, one that's just, like, the random one that there is for mine. Dave. This is Pac-Man. He's based off of Puck-Man. You know, thought they were gonna turn it into Fuck-Man, so they made him Pac-Man instead. Everybody knows that one. Fun fact. That's my uh, don't have to look it up fact of Pac-Man. That's all you're getting. So I hope you appreciate that fact. Uh, you can subscribe to Pac Facts by texting 866-PAC to. I'm done with that one. I feel I made my point with that joke. Point received! Uh, what do you give that one out of 10? That joke? Is that, as, 
I need a rating on that, please. Like, uh, this is the joke Olympics. And I just dismounted from my joke. What do you give that one? What's it out of 10? Oh, yeah. Or, or you could, yeah, just out of 10, I guess. You can go low. I I'll give it a six. Better. I got a six. That's acceptable, you know? But yeah, I would love to see a speedrun on this game. I wonder if anybody... Well, I don't know why I'm saying that. I know nobody's done it. On on Twitch, at least. Nobody's streaming it. Because I looked it up. Because I was curious. It's definitely on YouTube, though. You know. Someone's done it on YouTube? Everyone's played. Everything's been done on YouTube. Speed mm -hmm. well, like on Speed Demo Archives, they didn't have a Super Smash TV run, and I was just like, "That's weird." Like, I guess I could upload my run. It was, it was decent. And then I saw that on YouTube, somebody obviously had. I found the TAS, mm -hmm. and it was 38 minutes or something. Went crazy. Considering uh, it took me and the other people I found who run the game around an hour and 45 minutes to beat it mm -hmm. I think he did it in like an hour 38, but if you if you just like my Like when do I get control of the character? When do I lose control of the character for me and him? I think we had about the same time Wait, the soccer one or? Uh, No, the soccer one. I said Smash TV when, when you lose control of the character, gain control of the character. Yeah. Like the start of the game. How you time it. Like how you, it goes like, uh, how does it start? When you're in the stadium at the start, mm -hmm. and then you, you don't have control. So the time doesn't start until, um, until we actually would gain control. Mm -hmm. And there's obviously more than one category because... There's a easy, medium, and hard, I believe. I don't know if there's a hard, because I didn't check. Because I was just like, well, I beat it on easy, and then it said, you know, you don't get the, you don't get the actual ending unless you beat it on normal. So, you know what? I toughed it out and beat that game on normal. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, this is... I like that Pac-Man is just like casually eating your head. Is it? It's pretty cool, dude. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna add those for basically every game I do. That's a platformer. I will cut frames and stuff and add them to the little cycle of people running across the screen as a symbol of things I've conquered, I suppose. Even though I put Pac-Man on there and I have to be back. But damn, does it look pretty! that. I can't, I can't latch straight up, so there we go. Here we go. Aha. Okay, so, um, I guess this has 10... I, I guess this game has zero bosses, zero timer. Um, maybe it has a final boss? I don't know, what do you think Pac-Man's final boss would be? The square? Yeah. <laughs> um, a pizza. Pizza? Because he's like, he looks like a pizza. Mm-hmm. They, uh, I think that's where they got the idea, actually. The guy who invented Pac-Man was eating pizza, I think is how it was going. He's either eating pizza or pie. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's how he got the uh, idea. And he's just like, I want it to be pizza. But he gets to be a living circle. So I guess that's better than being eaten. There we go. I couldn't latch onto that from where I was. 
It's like it hides you in the in the trees. So that you run into shit and get fucked up and then get mad. Like that. Hey, there's some more stuff over here. That still hit me? Okay. Well, now I know. Oh no! Oh, well, stuff's taking more than one hit to kill now, too. I only got three more. I haven't been paying attention. Does it refill my health when I beat the level? This bush just looks like the Norlock. <laughs> ah, Pac-Man. You are a tricky mistress, that is for sure. So do you think, uh... Do you think Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man get along, or... Do you think they, they're they kind of not doing so hot, you know? They've been married a while, and I feel like... I feel as though, you know, there's got to be something that drives him to... Drives her to keep the name, but I haven't seen either of them in a while. Do you think that's why? Think maybe they had a bad breakup and Mr. Pack offed himself? already gone missing. Nah, I think he's okay. He's just on vacation. He went to the farm. Don't worry, kids. That's what all the kids, that's what all the parents said. Uh-huh. Pac-Man's fine. He just went to the farm for a little bit. You know old Grandpa Joe's farm. He's just playing with the rabbits and stuff. Had a hard life. Okay, I'm missing one, and I don't know where it is. Um. Hmm. should just had the countdown timer, or not the countdown timer, the uh, how many you've collected timers so that I don't keep seeing it out of the corner of my eye and being like, oh, there it is, finally. I mean, you'd think that's, that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? But when you don't know where they all are, it does a pretty good job of leading you along the trail, though. They have no idea where this last one is. Was that it? I think I saw it. Yeah. I thought I missed it, but then when I went up there, I didn't see it up there, so I figured, nope. Because right. Where did it go? I thought it was right up there. Maybe even higher. Pretty, uh, pretty amazing soundtrack, too. In the game? 
Uh, yeah, it's a joke. It's it's pretty annoying, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> it literally keeps the song going, and then it plays like the little Pac-Man song, you know? If you know, like the do 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 It plays that, and then just keeps the song, like it just starts the song right where it left off. Like it's just playing the song, and then mutes it, and then starts the song up again. Pretty lazy. Pretty lazy. That's beginner shit. I knew it was gonna happen. So, here. Here's part... Part two of... Garbage... Oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. If you hit a direction... Okay. Before, I, uh... Was hitting the shoot button and it wasn't shooting the direction I was running in. I couldn't figure out why. And... Is that actually something that's... Like, why... It doesn't warn you. That little curl there hurts you. <laughs> like... How are, how are you supposed to know that first time through? It doesn't even look like an enemy. It just looks like a really good ground texture. I've been lied to. This is unacceptable. It's okay, back man. I know it's not your fault. You, you wanted that to be just a friendly little vine, and Namco turned it into something stupid. Okay, this is probably a little bad, but I need a hammer and open it, don't I? I'll go back around and see if I can get it. Find us some ghosts. <gasps> oh. I have two credits left. I will I'll write down the password next next go around and hope that it just starts you off there. Because this isn't too bad. Nice. Nice easy cruise. But I still hold firmly that um fantastic uh speedrunning game right here. It's got potential. It's got potential like I've never seen. And I have this I just have this killer craving for uh for, for uh, Pizza Hut pizza right now. Doesn't that sound fucking awesome? I, didn't say that. I know. Once we're it. What? I said don't even say that once we're getting it. What? Yeah, we're getting it. What time is it? Oh fuck! It's too late. They're closed. I know. Oh, I am so sorry. I even said anything. Ugh, that's my bad. My bad, G. You know, I was just playing, you know? I didn't mean to hurt you like that. It hurts me too, you know? You know what else I need to finish? I started watching, uh... I started watching Walker and didn't finish Walker, Texas Ranger. Mm -hmm. As in the first episode, not like a bunch of them. It was weird, yeah, because I remember like Walker Texas Ranger used to have that Walker Texas Ranger song. It didn't have that Walker Texas Ranger song. It was just like a cold open and said like Walker Texas Ranger like a movie would. And I was like, that's weird. 
And then I was like, damn, this thing's going on a long time. There's so many plot threads. Like, what is going on? And I was like, oh, it's... It's, it's actually like a movie and not a TV show. I was like, this is way too many plot threads to be introducing into a TV show on the first episode. It had like, it had like this girl who got raped by three people um, and Walker was having the, her at his house to protect him. And she was like a, a clown person, something like that, you know, worked in the circus. It didn't show what she did. I don't, oh no, she, was, she worked with trapeze art, artist, I think that's what she was. Not that it matters, but... So, there are three... These three guys, and then they had these other people from the circus too, I guess, were in protection. I don't know why. It's like, they clearly... The people that Walker was protecting clearly could have just manned up and beat these three dudes' asses if they wanted to. Like, you live in Texas. It's like, everybody has a gun, and these guys didn't have guns. The guys that came to, like, rough them up were like, you ain't, you ain't getting away with this. Ain't nobody gonna protect you. And I, it was just so... Yeah, that's I, that was the first, the first group, okay? And that's like, that's not even how it started. It started with maybe a bank robbery or something like that. And, oh, I'm up on, I can jump on this flower. That's perfect, or this sleep. So, good old Walker here. <laughs> he lets, lets her stay, and you know, he doesn't want to. And apparently Walker's story is his mom and dad were murdered, so he became a cop to make sure, you know, that shit don't, yeah, no one else's mom. So it's basically, uh, Walker is basically Batman. I would like everyone to know that. It's pretty much just, Walker, Texas, Walker, Texas Batman is what the show is. and. It's, I'm, I'm saying this, but it's a good show. It's actually pretty decent. Entertaining. Very entertaining. Uh, and he gets his, he gets a, a, his deputy in the first episode, I guess. I don't know if it's a deputy or if it's just another. They, they put two rangers together. I feel like, look, you, you either need five rangers and make the power rangers, or you're one ranger and you're a cop. But he gave me two rangers, two Texas rangers, and I, I just start getting confused. <laughs> so Walker is like the old school one. <laughs> I'm explaining this in case, because you've never seen it. Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot in the first episode. It did a very good job of frameworking the whole show. Of Walker's like the old school one, and his uncle is Native American, so he follows like the old traditional ways. And the his new... His new like partner ranger is all about like technology and doing it, doing it the technological way. Uh -huh. So they partnered them together so that you know Walker would have to deal with, I guess, computers and shit, like making fun of him. And he's he's the star of the show, and he's he always is just like, I don't need computers to solve that. And now the rangers are probably all like, no, just look it up on the computer. It's way easier. Mm -hmm. And it's just so absurd to have the show say that because it's clearly like uh get over it walker you're you're old <laughs> like sorry you know you could probably just id these guys right away if you use the computer to match their picture up instead of looking around like have you seen this man use the use the technology walker quit being a boob Is there one in there? Let's see if there was. Nope. Okay. I believe I'm done on this side. And, I mean, so to, to finish this off, there's, a, there's that plot thread. Then there's the plot thread of the people who robbed the bank at the very start where it shows Walker like go into Mexico and like get him and they're like, hey, you can't do that. And I was like, yeah, man, you can't do that. That's not cool. Those guys got away. That's how the law works. <laughs> if you make it to Mexico, you're supposed to get away. 
That's not fair. That's half the fun. So you just get Yep, so he just, you know, goes and gets him. That's about it. You know, brings him brings him back and they're like, Walker, you're not allowed to do that. And then it's just like, let me talk to like the governor of Mexico real quick. And the governor of Mexico or some something like that, whoever, you know, owns that that part or whatever of how am I supposed to get down here? See this is doing these it spins these little gears. Ah, it opens the door. Okay. Oh, I'm still missing one. So, so the governor of Mexico, what have you, actually calls Walker up. I just, I'm just gonna <laughs> point that out. Okay. And he's, he's just like, oh, hello, sir. And he's just like, ha ha ha, yeah, I did it. And then they just stay in jail. <laughs> like, that's the kind of show it is. It's so pro, like, police force that it kind of upsets me. But it's a good show. But you can see how it's like, come on. In the wake of how the world is now, the show is like... Uh, like, that was a definitely a happier time when cops weren't, you know, so looked down upon, I suppose, is the only word to say. Somewhere along the line, some, some one of these cops fucked it up for the rest of the cops. Now we don't have good cop shows like Walker anymore. So thanks a lot. That's all I'm saying. But I haven't seen uh, Gotham or anything, so maybe Gotham's awesome. Not that it's anywhere near what Walker Texas Stranger is, but if we're going to call him Walker Texas Batman... I feel like I need this hammer. But I don't exactly know. Um, how to get it. So now I lost my rope. I still have my fire. I can't get the hammer back, so I probably don't need that to do whatever it is I'm supposed to do, right? Where are these? I feel like an idiot running around looking for little orbs everywhere. And this bomb-ass song, too. Come on, Packy. Maybe it's down the pipe. Or not down the pipe, down the trunk. Mm. But yeah, it's really disappointing. I could have really, uh, I could have really used some stuffed pizza crust pizza right now. Stuffed pizza crust pizza right now. Hell yeah. Oh, damn it. Ah, that's what I had to do. Okay, now I got the hammer back. Uh, my logic um, and reasoning centers are not functioning properly at this time. Oh, I can't hammer through this? Oh, come on now. Come on now! Oh, I can just jump straight up and grab that one. It's much easier. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he does get stuck on ledges pretty pretty frequently. There we go. Ha. Oh shit. Ah. It moves you off of the leaf. The leaf. <laughs> the leaf. Um it just I don't know how to explain it other than when you're on a slope like this. It forces you to walk down, and it's annoying as shit. Like, I didn't do that. It's just if you touch it, like, if you try to go up, just boom, you're down. And that's what it's doing to me on the leaves and 
these platforms. And if it's any angle on it whatsoever, it just forces you down it. More of that, um, they probably couldn't figure out how to... Damn, I'm hitting the button. They couldn't figure out how to have the acceleration and everything right. Screwed it up that way. Because I don't know, I don't know of any other game. Ooh, I landed and didn't slide. I don't know any other game that does that. There it is. There she is. Can I just break through? I gotta go the hard way. <gasps> I hit the leaf and it threw me down. be so much easier if it just let me bash the uh, the vine away like I did before. Fuck, dude, I told you to to you do that playlist. I, I made a reference to it yesterday. You can go look at it. It's a sweet video. Go look at it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I can't do it on stream because then it'll copyright strike the, the videos and then it takes the music away when I'm doing these clips. I did a, what, what? It was like the last two days they played Super Soccer and had it on there saying just music requests the whole time. You missed, you missed all, all like four music request days. Every single one of them. Last week was all music request. You missed every single music request day. <laughs> ah, that would be a funny one. I feel like maybe they might catch on after a while. And, uh, like, when I play Overwatch, I put music on and stuff, too. What's this spiky motherfucker doing? Is he trying to shoot at me? I had to do that for four hours, and then uh, his request is fulfilled. How about this? I will do it um, 10 minutes every hour for a few hours. I think that's fair. I think more people will get to enjoy it. But yes, I played some the other day and listened to some people cry. You know, had, had a genuine grand old time trying it out again. I like some of the changes they made to the game. I don't think anything caught me as, man, they really... Uh, yeah. I... I can. I do... I do need to set that up. I don't have much of anything set up. What? You, you gotta take care of that kid, you know? Hey. Hey, little boy. How are you doing? Right? That's how you talk to little kids in front of their parents. Um, I can, I can sense the, the, my, my grandma weird some people out by just being so open to talk. And then she always just like eyeballs the kids and it's like, oh my gosh, your kid is so adorable. 
and then just yeah. won't shut up about it. And they're just obviously like, just stop talking. He's acting up and you're just making it worse. Is what they really want to yell at her. But they don't. Because <laughs> she's a little old lady. But it's one of those things where she's been told many times, like, to stop doing that, like, by her husband back in the day. I even am like, that's just, you know, you can do it. I find, I, I tell her, I'm like, wow, that's amazing that you just, <laughs> you'll go up and talk to some random creepy looking dude and be like, why are you so creepy? That's essentially, that's essentially what she does to people. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. It's the guy with the box. The guy with the box who clearly was uh, not someone you'd want to talk to. If you'd see that guy in, if you saw that guy out on the street in general in a big city or something like that, you'd probably think he was up to some sort of, you know, terrorist activity with whatever was in his box, you know? I'm not making any accusations on it, on his part. I'm just saying, the man was a terrorist. But yeah, it uh, makes people uncomfortable, <laughs> clearly. But she doesn't see it. I guess it's just not in this in this day and age. Like, people just aren't used to. People just being nice, I guess. Like, I consider that her just being... Yeah, her just being really, really nice. Like, really nice. You know? Genuinely interested in other people's lives and trying to talk to them about things they're interested in. That's how she is. It's a refreshing change of pace. As compared to the other bullshit you see around the world, you know? It's really refreshing, actually. If you really think about it. Some people really enjoy it, too, so I've noticed. Like, when we were in Newton, that one guy was just talking to me about the bikes. He was like, ooh, I haven't seen a bike like that in ages. Where'd you get that? What? Uh, when we were, when we stopped in Newton to fix my car, yeah. and we were eating, uh, just some random guy was talking about your bike. Oh, and he was just... mentioned that here, too. He's like, I haven't seen a bike like that since, like, when I was a kid. People love a bike. He's like, yeah, that's right, buddy. <laughs> that's right, buddy. That's right, motherfucker. Better not try and steal it. Check it out. <laughs> not allowed to touch. <laughs> can't <laughs> cost you. Five dollars for a ride. Five dollars for a ride? Five dollars yeah, for Yeah, five dollars you can touch it. Five dollars you can touch it? Man, you ride a hard bargain. That's like stripper prices. Life's tough, man. Five dollars and you can touch it. <laughs> Shit better be good. Best you ever had. Okay, come on, Mr. Pack. <laughs> you really need to hear this song. It's... You'll hear it eventually, you know? <laughs> Just, you'll rewatch this stream. Eventually. <laughs> Everyone will. Eventually. They all float down here eventually. What the hell? This leaf just came out of nowhere. Yeah. I don't know, I haven't seen the movie yet. Remember, I just said it's one of the ones we haven't seen. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, this has just got me in a shit corner right now. Oh no, I keep forgetting it's just gonna automatically ram me down. And then it stuck me in the water because you can't jump out of water. No! Now I have to climb all the way back up there and around? Come on. Come on, Mr. Pack. Ah, uh, I know what I want his name to be. I want him to be Jesse Pac-Man in honor of Jesse Pinkman from Wrecking Bad. Because his name was Jesse Pinkman, yeah. so uh, I just Why are you to 
because his career went nowhere after Breaking Bad. Damn. Ooh, them some sick burns. Yeah, buddy. Nah, he's he's doing great. He was in Need for Speed. You saw that, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh huh. It was... Um, and he was in Breaking Bad, right? That's it, I think. What do I know? Number one Jesse Pinkman fan. That's not even his name. That's probably not his name. <laughs> That's not his name. It's his name in the movie or in the show. <laughs> um. Give him a hand, everybody. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think it gets more than enough credit. The fact that no one's watching is, um, that's my credit. That's, that's how good my jokes are. <laughs> my jokes are like, my jokes are like a fine, a fine, fine line. The longer you go without laughing at them, the funnier they get. That's, that's how good my jokes are. So don't laugh too early. You'll blow your load too early. Don't do it. Nobody likes that. Why would anybody like that? <laughs> That's fucked up. That's, uh... That is... That is quite the statement you have made there. Hey, I'm just saying you asked the kind of situation. I sure hope this guy is just gonna be over with soon. <laughs> Someone in there sculpted like really weird. Uh, I know. I would, uh... We could, like I said, uh, we could run to Walmart and grab another USB extender and have the cam going so that you can show off your sweet uh, model painting skills. Because people, people actually pay, pay a pretty penny to have their um, Warhammer figurines custom painted. Mm. It's like a, it's a pretty good, a pretty lucrative, uh, not career. It's a pretty lucrative thing to do freelance, I should say. I just got fucked by that mushroom. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I can't swim until I get the bubble. So the things that I thought were going to be enemies aren't enemies. These little hanging upside down flowers. I thought those were going to do something, but they don't. They're just there for, for aesthetic reasons, which is really good. This game didn't just go really plain Jane boring. There's really some cool stuff to look at in it. Except I still think Pac-Man looks a little... I oh, just paused on it. Look at it, slow motion. Oh, it was not slow motion of you slow swinging. <laughs> it was like frame by frame. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Is that slow down? Um. Yeah, I would say my drop frame is down there. It's 2.6. I guess that's really bad. I think. What do I know? Right? Fuck it, guys. I... I, uh... I can't do shit about it unless I... I'm partnered. Because it's based on... Based on their connection. Your connection. You know? I'll be here. I'll be here forever. What was that? What was that one? I don't know what that song was. Was that a song? Was, was it a real song? <laughs> it sounded like it was a real song. But... It, I don't think it was, because you didn't say anything else other than I'll be there for you. 
Um, I'll be there for you. We'll see this through. You know, black and blue. Easy. Boom. Hit R&B song. Especially one by Rihanna. If you catch my drift. Was there? I don't remember if there's anything hidden underwater. Because, um, like you said, when when people around here, like the Midwest, stream uh, me, it's it's fine. Ain't, ain't getting no complaints from the kids back home. scared of like anything that looks like it could be an enemy now. It's like I gotta live my life in fear because of this game not properly showing me what the enemies are. I hope this takes me up. Oh yeah. Just what I needed. Ah, just what I needed. Okay, there we go. Boom! What are the things called that Pac-Man eats? Are those are those the pucks? I don't know. design as far as what enemies they should have gone with. I feel like they should have just made all the dangerous enemies purple to contrast well with the green instead of making the plant enemies green. You don't necessarily have to, you know, use standard color schemes to make your enemies. I don't know why. You get what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. There's nothing that says you can't make a plant purple and make plants purple in this forest, you know? Even make reference to it. Make the boss like a purple flower. Say it's the the purple purple woods, Violet Hill. You know, like the Coldplay song. Anything. Steal their song. They suck anyway. They don't deserve it. Oh, see? It zipped me down there a little bit. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's like I can bounce off the wall. Ah, there's that little hole. I knew it was there somewhere. When I tried to walk right into it, it didn't work. There we go. Gonna eat me a ghost. I'm hungry. Hungry for that Domino's, or that Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza. Look, yeah. Do you want to just order it? Um, just order it. Uh, at the Davenport <laughs> Pizza Hut, and we can just drive up there and grab it. Drive 30 minutes for pizza. Drive 30 minutes for pizza. I wanted to see it for breakfast and show them what I was um, um, I don't know. I'm, I might have to make a, a actual store get food run, 
Even if it is just to buy uh, something cooking the oven real quick. Because I think we ate all of our best food. Don't you? I want some more of the mini, mini taco things. Oh, why did I come back down here? This is the place that I was originally stuck and hated. I do have half this burger left, though. I said I do have half this burger left, though. But man, did that, that pizza just sound... Satisfy every need I could possibly need right now. You know? Like everything. Like thirsty? Just eat that. Pizza Hut? Stuffed crust pizza. Right now. Look, like, and and I'll have you know <laughs> that my my grandmother is friends with the manager. And he will hook us up. Not really. I I think she knows everyone in the town. Whether or not they all like her, it's, uh, it's up to her, right? They probably do, though. How can you hate that, you know? I'd also like to know the oh, dang, the difference between like what is what is crystal exactly like is it just glass that's carved? Is, what is what I'm saying? Crystal, isn't that just like when say that people are like oh that's crystal, isn't it just glass? Like I don't know why people are why it's such a why it's even impressive. It's literally just glass. It's carved, right? Yes, I don't know. Right? I don't know. I don't know shit about Dick. But I assume. some more like real silver at um, the store das store oh, sh sh oh he still clipped me at the last one the controlling's so weird for it that it looks like it's the most unexciting thing ever to be dodging the attacks but man is it difficult to just like jump straight up and dodge things coming at you in this game It ain't about that. It's about going fast, like Sonic. That's why they should have made it more, uh, more Sonic-y, if that makes sense, where in Sonic you had the rings, and you're, you know, as long as you had one ring, you were good. Mm -hmm. So what they should have done with this is give you some sort of, um, I don't know how to word it other than how I said, you know, just a mechanic of which you don't get hit and die with a health bar. I feel like I feel like that was the easy way out. Like that was the cop out of this game. It would be hard to make it to come up with a unique idea, such as taking that one from Sanic. So what you got to do is you combine this game. Okay, you see, hit game. Combine this game with the Uniracers game. All right. Then you got yourself some fast, fast Sonicy action type of crap. You know, make all those those people that 
They're just crying because they don't, you can't have Sonic anymore. And give them what they want. Give them a little... Because apparently Sonic Mania was really good. I obviously don't have it because you've seen me playing it by now. Maybe. Maybe I'll get it. Probably not. I got all these. Right? Right. You're always there to, to talk me up. Oh, there's a ghost up there. There we go. For some reason you can attach your rope to the ghost. I didn't I didn't think that was possible. Oh, I didn't write down the password. Fuck. That level took forever too. I know, I said I didn't write down the password. And then... No. no. I'm not trying... Not trying to impose. Sorry. Oh, these things make you fly. They're not enemies. Cool. Okay. So here we go. All these things are like on the wall. Alright? But I can't shoot, like, up. I can't shoot up and I can't shoot diagonal. I can only shoot left and right. And half the time it isn't like, it doesn't put the the shots where, like where the last direction I moved was. Like if the last direction I push is right, sometimes it'll just screw up and shoot left. It doesn't really have, I don't know, I don't know the word to look for here, but it's just annoying. It's something you gotta actually have happen to you before, before you realize how annoying it really is. I got this to go little guy to fly up. Just look at his dopey smile when he's flying. I was thinking about getting um, the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite too, because I I enjoyed Marvel vs. Capcom three for the most part. It was alright. I still like number two more, but I can't. They tried, right? but I don't really want to support Capcom either. They've had nothing but garbage for a while now. So it's probably garbage too, right? Thank you. Finally. Where's my fucking jump pad? It, like, shot me up there and then didn't put me back up there again. <clears throat> Ooh, any level that it spawns you without your little rope thing is just annoying. I just wanna... I just wanna be able to latch to things and pull myself up. Like this little dude. Go. Go, 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 go. I want that. He can't get too close to the... the wall over here because... he's programmed to know... he pulls you, he drags you through any collidable object. And they put the barrier on the wall so that you couldn't just go through the wall and beat the level, I guess. Or clip out to the outbounds out areas. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. Now I can jump back down here and try and eat this guy. It's really hard to jump on slopes like that because it forces you down, like I said before. Pretty much just forces you into that thing to get eaten. And by pretty much, I mean, like, definitely, that's what it does. It's like, uh, if every time you, you stepped on a slope, you pushed down in Super Mario 3. And how you'd slide on your butt and kill mm -hmm. things, except in this. In this, you don't kill things, you just get hurt when you run into them. Did I all 
also can't find the X in here. Ah, there we go. So, I mean, I understand backtracking in, in some games. You know, it's okay, but like in this one, I'm not I'm not digging it too much. Like it doesn't really make much sense to me that they should make you backtrack. What is this thing? Whatever. Like in this game it it's just started me without my, my power up. And then made me go through the level to get it, and then go all the way back to the start, and I'm gonna have to climb all the way up with it to get those last couple little dots. But here we are. Here's a nice little grappling hook, and I'm good to go. So, what do you think Spaceman Craig does in his free time? He found a tiny world? Yeah. Uh, was it like tiny planet? No, just like a tiny town. And he wanted to be the god of it. Uh, how'd that go for Spaceman Craig? Probably not very good. No, um, then bigger. What? Bigger life forms landed on the planet, and then they found him, and he was a tiny person. And they were like, oh, look at this tiny person. And then the guy's like, you crushed him to death. He's like, I didn't mean to, and just like flicks him away. Are you serious? Dang. Yeah. <laughs> it's harsh. <clears throat> oh, I got gooed on at the end. Ooh. Wow. What's the point of that? Okay. Cool effect. I bet the guy who programmed that was like, come on, guys. Just put it in the game, please. That looks so cool. I feel that is gonna come back and bite me in the ass later. Like, they're gonna put those little goo things in jumps, and then you'll jump and get goo on you and it just forces you into a death pit. I see it coming. It's right here in the foreseeable future. Oh, this hole's blocked? Why'd they even put that log there to make it look like you could go in there? I'm gonna make this jump, so help me. Actually, if I make this jump, I don't think I can get back. I'll do it anyway. Because, fuck this game. If it thinks it can make a jump so particular that you can't get in there, but if you do get through, you can't get back through, I'm doing it. It won't let you through. Now you're just making rules and breaking them, game. That's a big no-no for me. Don't show me, like, hey, these doors, if they're like this, you can go through them. Hey, if it's underwater and it looks like this, it's a, it's a tunnel. And then change your, change your opinion when it uh, suits you. That ain't cool, G. That is not cool. shot at anymore. Oh, yes I am. Okay. Thank you for shooting me. Oh, thank you for rolling me down this path. Oh, I can't get through there either. Man, it really just wants me to go straight up, doesn't it? Oof, I 
gonna die the next time I get hit. Uh... Oh, I didn't know that one was there. So I don't think it gave me a password last time I beat a level. Actually, I don't remember seeing it. technically can dodge that. Mm. Oh no. So it has another thing where Pac-Man has like two jump heights. He has like, I just bounce jump height and I'm jumping jump height. But you can't land on these things. You have to hang on them. So you can only do the normal jump. Okay, this is okay. Oh no, it's not. I'm just gonna get brought right into those. There we go. That's all I wanted. I feel... I feel okay with dying now. so it put everything back. Now I have to collect everything all over again. It wouldn't be bad if this wasn't an annoying, like, travel up with no, no weapon or no way to defend yourself. I can't swing. can't shoot. I can blow some bubbles if there's water. But everybody knows Bubble Beam was the dumbest move anyway. It's stupid. Who used Bubble? Garbage. How does a bubble hurt somebody? It pops on them? Stupid Pokemon. Just stupid. Water gun, that makes sense. You know, you can blast somebody in the fucking face with a water gun, that'd suck. That'd hurt. That's what a fire hose is for. <laughs> Did you ever see UHF, by the way? Yeah. Did I see what? UHF? It's, uh, it's a Weird Owls movie. One and only. But I showed you... Did I show you Spy Hard? He was in that movie, too. He was also on The Million Dollar Pyramid. He also kind of did... Um, Dude, this is by far the most annoying level I've had to do so far. It's just timed just right to where if you miss it the first time, it's one of those where you're gonna get hurt. But I don't wanna get hurt. And I have to keep jumping and falling back down to get those little pellets that are hidden everywhere. See, so I'm going to have to, like, look up afterwards. Um, I want to see if I actually am double pushing the button or if sometimes you just... I hold the button and he lets go when I let go. Like a half press. Like that. I feel like I half pressed that and when I let go I was holding and it, he just jumped. Like that. He did it again. Yeah, it is doing that. 
I couldn't figure out why I kept falling off, and it's because if you push jump and hold jump, he just jumps off. And then, you know, obviously I didn't want to jump off, so I would never be pushing a direction of which I needed to go. An odd mechanic will probably fix your car, but creep you out. episode of Master Chef's on tonight. Was on tonight. Mm -hmm. Is over with. Means I can go watch it right now. Right now, but I won't. That's how much you mean to me. There we go. Now I got my fireball. Duggan. See what's behind door number one. It's a ghost. And my swing. Come on. Th they could have just made the swings not be solid. But they're solid. This path. What? Oops. Go back through the door. I like how earlier somebody said something and I was just like, I have no clue what that means. And then they never told me what it meant. figure it out eventually. Not really. If you didn't tell me, it's on you, man. I hope, I hope you know that. That when the world's gonna end, I'm just gonna be like, yo, Thursday night, cheese it stick day. And you'll be like, what's that mean? And I will know that that's the code for, yo, the world's getting blown up. You should probably probably tell your loved ones and, and shit that you love them and that the world's gonna end and we should all hang out but now you're not and you're just gonna think that some weirdo told you that cheese its were half off on Thursdays <laughs> yeah I know I said cheese sticks the first time but now it's it's evolved it's evolving I don't think it gives me a continue until I beat a world. So this game might end up being, like, harder than I thought it did. If it doesn't let me just put in a password and continue from where I was. With full lives and stuff. Or if it's just like, nope. Here's a password for making it this far with one continue. Even though it's really easy, it is like the first time I played it, so everything everything kind of catches you off guard. Like all the monsters looking like the ground and you just have to know that it's a monster because there's no indication.
There we go. Ooh. Secret path. Okay. So I'll get this ghost. I get, I'm getting stuck on the slope there, and then falling into the water. And I attach to him instead of the, uh... Let's see if this goes in here. I attach to him instead of the, uh, ceiling. Like, I'm holding right, clearly, and he's just not going up. Look at that. It's like he has to get going. Like, look how fast he goes for mm -hmm. how little space I have to move in. It's stupid. He is just booking it. I didn't really think that one through. It's a big flaw in a lot of uh, platformers of this era. A lot of a lot of people just couldn't get it right. They wanted to be different instead of just sticking to what worked, you know? And it didn't work a lot of the times. Nowadays, we have the exact opposite problem. Too many people are sticking to what works and nobody's trying to innovate. And the people who do innovate um, probably don't really get enough credit. Because look at me, I can't tell you one, one example. There we go. <laughs> so, I hate when there's just a big bush and you can't get up in there. Like, it drives me fucking up a wall. Like, this game didn't even need the uh, Pac-Man license in, in my eyes. It could have just been called, like, you know, like, Wrecking Ball Man, anything like that. Because it's essentially what this game is. Because you just are a little yellow wrecking ball who swings around smiling. And... And they should have made you actually hurt people with the wrecking ball, like, um, Battletoads. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. It's just too hard to get through here. Like, what am I... Yeah, I have no clue what to do to get out without getting hit. Now I have to climb all the way back up there. And all I had to do is get out, and I could have gotten food, because I knew where food was. Like, I clearly saw the watermelons up in the tree, where if I would have got out and gone up and to the left, I would have had those. And now I have to go all the way back down there, too, so that I can activate this little thingy. The ring, if you will. And then come all the way back up. Gotta come, try to, gotta try and get in the stupid ass bush again. You know, that old shebang. Right. Drop that off there. Try and get, try and get on, get on in that bush. No, no. Maybe it's, maybe the flowers are telling me to swing on them in order to get in there. No clue. The best method to get through this bush. Do you, do you have any uh, tips or tricks on how to get through the bush? Uh, I have fire. Is that is that applicable? Ah, there we go. So if you do it in one nice, smooth movement, it comes out. I guess that's what they figured, that nobody would just get stuck bouncing back and forth like an idiot, and they'd all just like insta go up the... <sighs> oh no, I fell back down in the bush. That's generally a problem I don't have.
Okay, let's start at the bottom. And... Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, this is why I ain't never seen no no pack pack in time speed run right here. You got you got bushes, you got invisible bushes of which I can't swing through. They hide me. Not invisible. Invisible uh, holes of which are hidden by bushes. That's that's more like it, right? And then you just try and you try and you just don't get anywhere. You know, it's disheartening. So I feel like I was talking about Walker and I never finished the Walker conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where did I leave off on this one? I'm not even sure. So we got Walker, okay? <laughs> and. Like I said, he's he's the Batman of of the era, I guess. I bet everybody was all about Walker Texas Ranger for a while. Like he was probably the hot shit new TV show. Everybody was like, "Oh, he's Kung Fu Master Chuck Norris." But the first episode, like a movie, um, there was first girl. Or there's the first part was him going to Mexico, getting those guys, and talking to like the governor, and him just being like, "Oh no, it's okay that you came into the country unannounced, and you know, grab some of my citizens because they might have done something wrong." Of which, you know, you yeah, it's just speculation. It's not like you, it's not like Walker could have known like he was there and saw him commit the heinous act. He's. So he goes and he's harassing these guys, first off. That's what I'm gonna call it. He harassed these men. And throws them in the back of his truck after beating their ass. Mm -hmm. After he, he plainly states that they have no jurisdiction where he is. He's like, Walker, you don't have jurisdiction here. And he's basically like, I don't care. And beats their asses. Um, what's the next part I need to figure out here because I didn't finish it but I was just like flabbergasted at this this show and how how like pro pro cop and how it just like nowadays just wouldn't work people would just be like that's bullshit cops don't act like that they don't take you into their house so that you don't get caught by two people or three people who just made bail stuff like that doesn't happen anymore cops are just like well he paid for bail. He might come and kill you. Call us if he does. That's that sounds more like the uh, the police force I know. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna drop off. And try and pop them over and over again. Just so if I come back through here, ever he'll be dead. Wait, yeah, you agree, right? Like that's that's like a level of um, a level of personalism that I would want from a law enforcement thing, a person. You know, that's that's serve and protect. You know, that ain't um, yo. You didn't use a turn signal on the highway when no one was around, so I'm gonna pull you over because that's that was suspicious. Of course, maybe Walker does that too, and I just missed that part. And the part where he profiled a, a Mexican in Texas and pulled him over just because of his rights. Maybe that's maybe that's what he did in the opening scene, and I just didn't catch it. He just he's just going to Mexico to pick some people up from a biker bar, assuming they did something wrong, and you just happen to be right. How did you know, Walker? Well, you were at the bar where uh, bad guys go. Damn. Maybe next time you should go to the the uh, 
the ranger bar, which does exist, because that's where all the rangers hang out. And in the first part of the show, a lady walks into the ranger bar. A lady walks into a ranger bar and says, uh, is it okay if I eat here? And a ranger says, no. This is for rangers only. He gave her shit, and then Walker was just like, oh, don't mind him. He's just mad because he can't be a ranger anymore because he's fat. But, yeah, the ranger did make a joke, and then Walker was just like, now, now. Just because you can't be a ranger doesn't mean you gotta be pissy. Pretty much. For the most part. But yes. It's... Yikes, right? So you got your good guy bar and you got your bad guy bar in the Walker Texas Ranger show. Um, which one do I prefer? I don't know. The uh, decor of the bad guy's bar. <laughs> While lacking many amenities, such as televisions, uh, it had a nice little homely feel to it. Like, like, maybe they won't hurt you and take your money. So there's that plot thread. Um, then there's the plot thread of meeting the new ranger. Then there's the plot thread of the guy. There's this random guy who's f trying to create a team of people. And that's what the, like a heist you see at the start. So you see one heist at the start, Walker goes and gets them. Then you see heist number two, they get away and kill the ranger that they just introduced. That they were like, what? they're like, oh, he has a good heart, but, and then Walker's just like, sometimes you just can't have that. You gotta be cold with him sometimes. And he just sounds like that, where he doesn't even sound tough or intimidating. It's like his good old Southern charm trying to come through and be tough. And it comes off as really weird, actually. Now that I think about it, he just doesn't intimidate me. And I feel like Walker should be more intimidating. but I guess he's supposed to be a police officer too. All right, look at me go. Walking on the log, walking on the log. I feel like I should be able to just shoot this and it would open, but. But what do I know? I got my, um, I got my water power, but I don't see any water. Bouncy pad to bouncy pad. Damn. Man, if you hit anything, it just rockets you down. Okay, nothing in that hole. This will take me back up top. Maybe this now? I feel like there should be more to this, but I ain't going anywhere. Oh, there it was. Man, see, it has lots of weird hidden invisible paths that you just kind of got to guess your way through. I mean, it was obvious that there's something there, I guess, but not really because I, I thought maybe it was just a little nook and cranny like all the other ones that they put into this game that don't go anywhere. Okay, one down. Guess I gotta get the little fly guy. Man, all the packs say I'm pretty fly for a yellow guy. <laughs> that was really lame, I'm sorry. Think there are other color packs? That's probably what they should have done, actually. I don't know how how well Pac-Man's translated to modern gaming, as I said. I don't think very well at all. But they probably should have gone with a uh, like a more of a, a color-based pack approach. You know, like yeah, get blue and then you're an ice pack. Ha <laughs> ha! Come on. I thought it was going. 
haters gonna hate, you know? You know, maybe, uh... You get the, uh... Kind of like a ribbon. And then you can wear it on your head, and then you become a two-pack. That one's good, too. Well, I love it. I think that one's great. Wouldn't that be great? Ice pack, you're an ice pack. Or blue, and you're an ice pack. And ribbon, and you're a two pack. What's some other packs? Give him a gun, and then he's packing. Fuck yeah, Pac Man. You're just ripe for jokes. This is the only way I can get up there, so better go get this guy again and just get ready to drop and be like, pop, 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 pop. Um, maybe collect your clock and then you could be a, a, a pack age. Package. Pack with an age at the end of it. Gotcha, bitch. I just had to. I didn't even need to. I just had to go over here. Oh shit! Why did it do that to me? Why would you do that? It won't even... Uh, I should have known. Because I saw this down there and I didn't understand why it was there. But there's no like hidden, hidden little dots down there, so... Oh shit. No, nope, let's go dude. Take me back up there. Take me up tonight. I don't wanna have to use my rope because I fucking hate it. Take. I can't. I can't actually swing up there. Maybe if I get a good bounce. Oh! I'm holding down because I'm afraid if I let go. I'm just gonna swing. Half the time I can't remember whether you let go or hold down because none of the controls are really that intuitive. But this one's okay. It is you just hold down. I can't remember how I got out of here, actually. Uh, I went up. thought you had to hammer the bush too, didn't you? You're all about hammering the bush. Maybe. No? You're not into hammering bush? More bush for me, I suppose. You know what they say. Uh, uh, a pack in hand is worth two in the bush. Come on! Ah, fuck. Why do I even try sometimes? Okay. Get these and get out of there. All right. Now I gotta go up again. But I have my key this time. I don't know what the key goes to. I just wanna get down there. Where does my key go? I got nine left and I know they're all below me. I have my hammer, but I don't know how to get in there. Um, maybe there's a little, little shortcut right here. But I didn't, I didn't notice. I feel like this dude's just gonna kill me. Ah, there we go, I see. All right, Mr. Yellow Ghost. 
might be Inky, Blinky, Speedy. I don't know them all. What's the yellow one? Oh no, he followed me in there and put an end to that charade. I should be able to go down here. But luckily I killed all those things just because I thought this was going to happen. And now I can just get this thing and run right back up here. With no fear of death. Death. No fear of death. Alright, let's do it, guy. I don't know what to name this little dude, though. I feel like he needs a name. It's so weird that if you go over here, it drops you all the way down. Ooh, I don't have the water. Do I need the water to beat this? Bubble? Get out of here, Pac-Man. There's trouble afoot. Yeah, this is gonna take me to the top. Oh, it didn't take me to the top. It took me to this one. Even better. What the fuck? That goes just straight up going in the hole. These levels are getting a little more intricate. It's getting getting fancier. Area 20. So after this one, I should get a um, a password, and then I'm gonna run and get something to eat, and then I'll just come back and enter the password and see what it does. Oh, I can't get through here without shooting him first. Okay. And then it puts it right there on the other side, so you're like, oh great. I gotta go all the way around? some food. God damn, look at me bouncing. melon up there, I guess? I'm gonna call it a cantaloupe. I don't know. It didn't really look watermelony enough for me to call it a watermelon. But I hate to I hate to discredit the right fruit where the fruit credit is due. You know, cantaloupe gets a hard wrap. So does watermelon. Down 
Oh shit. That better. Better get this right so that I can get out. Oh, I hit the wall over there. Okay. Uh huh. Like, you bounce around so much in this game, and it makes it super annoying when you. Oh, holy shit. Why am I up here now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Super secret climb the tunnel move. <laughs> okay, maybe here. Uh, nope. There we go. Twenty three left. Then I will be. Done. It's not a definitely not bad. A decent, decent game. What's another one? I think it was like Clay World. Something clay oh it's Claymates, wasn't it? Not Clay Fighter, but Claymates. Um that I believe I watched a speedrun of and it's really hard to if you don't know exactly what you're doing, because it's like puzzle segments separate each of the levels. So uh, I might try that one soon, because I've never played it. I always end up getting the food before I want it to actually eat it. Too. Because I could easily have saved some of those food things that I got and used them right here. Dang. Come on, buddy. What? What do you mean? Like, actually just bought some food thingies, as in I was just... Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting I have that sitting over there. I need to pop it. Pop it in the, the microwave. T-R-Q-C-Z. 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 C Z. T R Q C Z. T R Q C Z. T it's not like I couldn't just stop the stream and uh, look at my bot of it. Well, this has been part one of Huey Lewis in the News playing Pack and Time. I'll be back in five minutes, but I won't be playing that because I have to finish this. But it's what's next up on the chopping block for the night. So long.